Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo, and today I wanted to share with you some important updates for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now the first one is a software update for the month of June, and then the second one is around the Galaxy Store with multiple Samsung applications. Now it is the very end of the month of June, so you will be looking for another update fairly quickly, maybe within the next month for the July software update. But it's always good to make sure you take a look for an update before the month ends, so this way you don't have two different software updates stacked on top of each other you only update once and you forget about the second one so all we're going to talk about today is going to be the update and exactly what it did for your galaxy s21 ultra so you go inside of the software update this one was pushed out on june 22nd that was when it was first rolling out where people were starting to see it i didn't see it until yesterday june 28th and the update was mostly around the performance of the camera also the overall device performance has been improved security of your device has been improved after you are updating uh, to the software update you will not be able to downgrade to the old software version because of the updates to security policy now this one is that june 1st patch and we already had a june update and so that's why i was caught off guard for the second one of the month of june the size is 397 megabytes and it ends in auf5 now on the top it did kind of show a few things that was new mostly just talking about the camera and usually with these update videos i always go through and try to find what has been updated but i wrote some notes right here of what did change and really the update brings improved portrait mode effects it addresses the overheating issues and reduces the lag when zooming on top of these additions, the update also includes new QR code scanning tricks and also that June 2021 Android security patch. So maybe if you didn't get the first June update earlier this month, then you're probably only going to get this one and they're just going to stack them together with a larger update. So that was pretty much the update for the new you know, software update for your phone. This one was already done, so I don't need to redo it onto my device, but make sure you take a look for an update. Again, it's the very end of June. June, and we're just getting ready for that July update. Now, the next things I wanted to talk about is going to be inside of the Galaxy Store, because inside of the Galaxy Store, when you take a look on the very top left hand side and you go to updates, there is three of them sitting in there. You might actually see more. I did update a few applications before the video, but these are the three that are brand new today that might mean something. Some of the other ones are just, you know, system updates. So you have an update for a private share for Keys Cafe and for Sound Assistant. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel at Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So inside of Private Share, when you scroll on down, uh, you'll be able to take a look at when this one was updated, which is today, June 29th. And then when you take a look at what is new, they improved the problem of not recognizing the phone number in SIM card. Uh, they also, the expansion of support for non-premium Samsung smartphones and tablets. Also, the expansion of file size up to 100 megabytes. Uh, and that's pretty much it for what is newer for private share. And private share is one of those really nice things that you can do. So if you want to share something with somebody and maybe it's just a little bit more sensitive of an image or maybe it's just something that they should only view one time or it's something that you know uh, you, you shouldn't share with too many people, but you're sharing it with a family member or a business partner and you want to make sure that it can expire after maybe a day or after a couple days or a couple hours maybe if you wanted it to never be reshared when you send something through private share you're able to set up all of those things so let's just scroll through and let's take a look at a few of these different screenshots so for example you can change the expiration date again you don't want someone to have it for too long uh, so you can have it expire after a couple hours after a couple minutes you can see when they've opened it when they've received it you also have an expiration date change so let's say maybe you show it to them they open it up they used it for whatever it was needed for then you can actually change the expiration date and you can also revoke it and you can take it back so this is something that i've used a few times i'm actually a pretty big fan of private share again it's kind of like sharing something through snapchat but this is doing it with files from your phone 
Now the next one is with Keys Cafe. So let's say that we go inside of Keys Cafe. This one was also updated today, June 29th. So now that it's loaded up here, you can see what is new. So you can see now you can set the preset colors and the key sounds in the tablets. So they've, they've kind of opened it up a little bit more to tablets, not just uh, smartphones. And then the Flick Chunjin keyboard has been added. And then a few bug fixes going through here. So if you've had any type of uh, small issues, it looks like some of the bug fixes were fixed. Uh, or the bugs were fixed and then down here uploaded date uh, is going to be that June 29th so that one is today so I'm going to go through an update I'm not really a huge fan of keys cafe I've shown it off a few times just to show it off but personally I don't really use it I like to keep my keyboards the way that they're set up so anytime I switch between phone to phone to phone you know obviously it's just going to be the exact same uh, continuous usage and the way it's all set up anyways uh, for sound assistant, you can re uh, they restored the floating button, the volume panel, uh, customizing its inner working with theme park. Fix the problem that concert hall doesn't work um, or it doesn't work intermittently and then stabilize other operations. So you can see through down here, it was updated on June 29th. So if you use sound assistant, if you use keys cafe, if you use private share, those are three updates that popped out today, at, you know, in terms of shooting this video and also to take a look to see if you have any software updates. Again, it was it, for me, it was pushed out yesterday on the 28th. For some people, they were starting to receive it around the 22nd of this month, but it is important to put it onto your phone. So if you had issues with overheating, this is probably gonna fix it. If you had problems with portrait mode, if you had problems with the, the lagging of the zooming, so it's gonna fix all of that inside of your camera. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>